Okay, so I finished recording some Fortnite, edited it, uploaded it. Now we're back on this and we're going to be continuing from where we left off, which was after that whole nightmare slash dream sequence thing that went down. So uh, yeah, we're going to be continuing from there. We're going to be playing as Ethan now. And uh, yeah, he's obviously got some trouble with paparazzi, as you can see by the title of the chapter. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. Let's get straight into it. I'm not even kidding, I'm literally so exhausted right now. It is 9 in the morning. I've recorded, well this is my third video I'm recording, I've watched The Purge, and it's only 9. It's like, I'm, I'm pretty fucking tired, my sleeping schedule's kind of off again. You know, I'm going to stay up, I'm going to record a whole ton of videos, I'm going to try and stream, depending on my energy levels, and uh, yeah, should be a good little grind. Poor guy, man. I've also just completely finished the fucking coffee, so even though I'm tired, I'm so hyper right now. So right now, my energy's good. It's great. When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them, they cried and begged. We're back to this poem. It was all to no avail. The children have never been seen again. See, if I were you, I wouldn't be reading that, because that's kind of depressing for the situation you're stuck in. Oh, locker key. Let's go. I have to get out of here and find out what this ticket is about. That letter might be linked to Sean's disappearance. I need to show it to the police. No, nope, not smart. Not smart. The origami figure in my hand after my blackout. It's the same one the killer leaves in the hands of his victims. I've never done origami in my life. They're all just standing there. This doesn't make any sense. It couldn't have been me. I couldn't ever have done that. Are you sure? I mean, you never know. Right, so there's a car. It looks like the ticket to a locker. Which that dude in the shop mentioned a locker? With a box? I'm the origami killer. I black out, and then the murdering starts. I know it's me. The murdering has been going on for... How many years was it? Like, two years? You've been having the blackouts for at least six months. Maximum. Think of it that. This dude's just... He's just stressing over nothing. And we're off. These fucking idiots have no clue. They're still just standing there. Bunch of nosy fuckers. Okay, so this is the place. Let me just fix that real quick. to make it through the crowd. I can't can't take crowds. Just can't handle it. Per guy, man. I'm just not gonna make it. I'm tightening up. I can't go on. Come on, buddy. You can you can do it. Too many people. Too many people. Nice easy breaths now. Come on, you've got this. There we go. I hate the bits because it just feels so awkward to do. Especially when you've got a headset on and it's connected to your uh, controller. It's like it just... 
it's irritating. I mean, it's not as bad, it's just kind of more annoying when you're trying to record. Especially when your controller is dodgy like mine. <laughs> okay, so I know if I knock like 50 people over, I get a trophy, so I'm gonna do that. Oh shit. This is some Pennywise the Clown stuff going on right here. Playing mind tricks and stuff. Sorry peeps. That's actually so fucking creepy how he just disappeared like that. Jason! <laughs> Jason! I feel like I should be getting there to the trophy. I don't know if I managed to knock enough people over there. I think I did, I should be fine. Either way, I can always go back and play it anyway. I ain't worried about it. This dude's just not looking. See? You made it! Right, so what is our locker number? Let's see. Line 18, box number 3. Line 18, box 3. Okay. Why the fuck are you going backwards? No. Line 18, box 3. And fuck do you know, I think, line, this is, okay, it's this one, I hope, hey, we got it, shoebox, I'm sure it's actually so creepy. It's like you're sent to a locker and it's got a shoe box, but there's no shoes in the shoe box. Kinda suspicious. Okay, and we're back to Ethan again. Different chapter. Same guy. Wait, let's see if I did get that trophy or not. Hey, I got it! Agroph... Agrophobia. I don't know how to pronounce that. But we got it, so I'm happy. If you don't know by now, I'm actually like addicted to getting trophies, so... Yeah. <laughs> That's something I do. Anything useful in there? No? Okay. Right. Let's take a look at this box. Uh, 
Oh shit. There's a lot of stuff. Including a gun. Let's take a look at this thing. Okay. What's this? A bear. I think it's a bear anyway. Pretty sure it is a bear. Are you prepared to show courage to save your son? Joe's garage and parking lot 4988. Yep, you don't, we don't need to know that. We don't need to remember the place. Let's take a look at this thing. This goes into the phone, doesn't it? Yep. Now we can use this to get close to find out where Sean is. Is fucked up. Five origami figures, each figure is a trial, each trial provides letters, the letters reveal an address. Okay. So we're starting our trials now, and uh, yeah, we don't actually want to fail these because it can fuck up. Try to save Sean. Might mess up in one or two. No, you mess up in one. It's okay. That's that's fine. You mess up in two. Gets harder. And then you mess up in three. It just gets harder and harder to pinpoint where Sean is. So we want to mess up in as few as possible. Hopefully we don't mess up in any. I doubt we will, but you never know. We might. We might not. The killer I'm hoping we don't. Age between 30 and 45. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims. That's why he covers their faces with mud, to make them anonymous. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? They're asking him, the right questions. Image, symbol, that's probably why he gives him an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done to them. Very interesting. And where does all that get us? The best way We're going to stay calm. Is to be familiar with his behavior. That may be true in novels, but there's a child's life at stake here. Continue, Jaden. Um, geo profiling. I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And what size is this uh, zone? I fucking hate that, dude. About ten square miles. Ah, oh, great. There must be ten thousand people living that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? Yes, yeah, dude's pissed me off. The of the killer, but at least it's something to go on. Blake, if you've got a better plan, I'm willing to listen. Don't be shy. We're just gonna let him know. All ears. One detail I ain't taking any of his shit. The between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take ten percent. What on earth does that mean? All the victims were drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. Mm -hmm. The less time the victim has to live. So what's next? 
There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. God damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. That's fucking dead, man. The killer's out there somewhere. We gotta get off our asses and find him. The killer is no ordinary murderer. He is intelligent, organized, and methodical. You won't find him by patrolling the streets. Tell me, Agent Jaden, did you get your vast experience on the job, or did you just fucking read about it in some school book? Your vast experience hasn't prevented Let's just let him know. from being murdered. Fucking asshole! That's enough. See? Dude, there's a prick. took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. How much time do we have left? <laughs> the weather forecasts are right. Less than 72 hours. Oh, shit. So we've got less than 72 hours to save Sean. Hello? I'm... No okay. We waste our time coming here. But we're still gonna go in anyway. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. There is now. <laughs> I'm not sure that's entirely legal. Call the cops. Dude is such an asshole. Fuck. Looks like Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. Yeah, it seems that way. God fear an idiot waiting for the end of the world. We questioned hmm. him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and okay. raving. Listen here. Had this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I'd come to Earth to persecute him. Nothing really. I'm just kind of trying to listen to what this dude's got to say about obviously that dude's past. Listen here. Holy shit. Dude, stalking up. Nothing else there. Nothing there. Excuse him. What? Never mind. Even more. Yeah, this dude's straight up fucking stalking up for something. Hmm. Is that a glass of milk? The guy's taking a break from reality, hold up here in this crazy apartment. Wait, what's that? Ah. Oh shit. Here he is. Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. Dude's a bit jumpy. Alibi. Nathaniel, do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? Here. I was here. I was praying. All day. Really? Is there anybody with you? No. No, I was alone. Okay. Um occupation. What are you, with, you have a job? My sole occupation is praying to the all merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. Well, you know, next time someone asks, I've got if I've got a job, that's what I'm gonna say.
I know the crucifix is. You afraid of something? The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall strike men down. I am preparing for the end of the world. Okay. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? Dude's waiting for the fucking apocalypse. We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Or we both know who talks to you. Who talks to him? Speak that name. Nah. Lucifer, the devil. What does he say to you, Nathaniel? I can't talk about it. I guess Blake's trying to break it, but what good is a confession if he does? He orders you to go and find new prey, doesn't he? He needs more and more. Better just stand down and leave Blake to it. Bro, you mustn't mention him. You'll bring him here. get involved, or? He told you to go and find that kid in the park. The voice is tormented you all night long. You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? I'm not gonna do anything. Stay. That's enough. So you obeyed them to make them stop. You took that boy with you and you drowned him. Isn't that right? No. Stop. Stop. You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? Okay. No, I should have got involved. You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, and Oh father, shit. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to Earth to destroy us. I feel he's got a point, he has a fucking nightmare. Um not gonna kill the Antichrist with a revolver, Nathaniel. He's much too powerful for that. Antichrist my ass! Get that gun out of my face! Um Lieutenant Blake is gonna leave our planet right now and return to the realm of shadows. I'm gonna try and just Reason with his idea. And leave our Nathaniel in peace. Demon, you shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. You shall know divine power. Please fucking shoot him. Reassure him. I'm here to help you, Nathaniel, to get rid of the voices in your head. But you have to trust me. Christ, our power. Defend us in our battle with the forces of evil. Protect us from the coming and wiles of his evil. May God Almighty manifest the power of his empire. And may divine power cast Satan and all the other spirits that prowl the world in search of souls into the darkest depths of hell. What? I should just fucking shoot him, shouldn't I? Keep calm. Just calm Everything down. Everything's going to be fine, Nathaniel. Now back, back off. Away, slowly. Now drop your gun. Drop it, Nathaniel. Okay. Put your hands on your head. See if I could have still shot him, that'd have been fucking hilarious. Motherfucker. In the name of the Lord. I exorcise the I was close to shooting him. I was close to okay, but freak. the show's over. You're nope. under arrest. Not gonna give any temptation. Done that and beyond two souls. Damn cool under the Not gonna do it in this. I would've just shot him. I was hoping he'd fucking shit you. Maybe not, but most of the time it helps. <laughs> Oh shit, okay. That's that. And we're back to Scott Shelby. Okay. What chapter is this again? Don't actually remember. Ah yeah, shit, I remember it now. Okay. Okay, it was just double checking. We've still got plenty of time to record this episode, so uh, yeah, we're just gonna continue on in uh, this chapter as well. Bowles. Susan Bowles, mother of the Origami Killer's next victim. Maybe she oh, knows something shit, really? about the circumstances surrounding her son's death. Ah, asthma-free for a moment, 
Good old and hand in my pocket, just in case. Smart, smart. Smart. Dude, honestly, again, sorry if I sound extremely tired. But uh, yeah, it's like, um, and it's half nine in the morning. But you know, I just want to record so many videos, fix my sleep uh, schedule, and uh, yeah, start streaming from that point. Once it's actually sorted, I can start streaming during the day again. This is both. Anybody home? Oh. Oh I shit. Search the house. Maybe it's not too late. Mrs. Bowles. Mrs. Bowles, are you there? Now we've got to break in here. Come on. Put your fucking back into it, Shelby. There we go. Oh shit. She's still alive? Fuck. Wake up. Get out of there and help her. She's lost a load of blood. I'm going to call an ambulance. No, I I don't want to go to the hospital, please. Okay. You got something around here I can dress this woman with? Yeah, I think so. Okay, don't move. I'll be right back. Okay. Um, She's losing blood. I gotta hurry. There's got this stuff in here. This, and this, and this. Okay, nice. Right, let's patch her up and give her some help. I'm Just let her know everything's going to be okay. You'll and, be uh, yeah. I'll take care of you. Holy shit, I just realised how much I actually say that. Stay with me, Susan. Susan I don't know how long I've been saying that for, Susan, but oh my me. god. Can you hear me? Stay I've just got to, like, try and get that out of out my system. Break that habit. It just feels so fucking natural to say. <laughs> but that's how it's patched her up and uh, she should be a lot better. God damn it. No, it's just a fact. I'm actually tired. I just don't know what I'm thinking. Or what I'm going to say. I just kind of don't really think about it that much. Do you know what to do? No, it's just like instinct to say that. With a baby, I mean. Of course. I'm a private eye. There's nothing I can't do. <laughs> <laughs> her name is Emily. Okay. Gotcha. Do you know? I need to wash her hands. Covered in blood. Don't I pick her up like that? Not even go near her like that. There we go. Emily. Well, live for now. Let's see how Junior's doing. Okay. Oh, Emily. So, what seems to be the problem, huh? Oh, going by the smell, I got a pretty good idea. That's great. Okay. Well, looks like we need to change nappies now. Should be easy, we just hold a few buttons and that's that. There we go. And then triangle. And then circle, I guess. Yep, yeah. there we go. And then square. There you go, fresh new baby. Easy as that. 
Well, I should have the harder difficulty. I'm playing the easiest one just because it's so much more simpler. Hey, what's the matter? I thought we solved the problem. <laughs> Dude thinks it's just fucking simple. Maybe she's hungry. Just as simple as that. I guess I better warm this thing up. Okay. So this is one of the chapters that's a bit slower, more story based. Pretty sure it's like the next chapter we get to do a trial. Which I really cannot wait for. It's going to be amazing. Maybe she's hungry. Maybe she is. Oh, Emily, are you hungry? Hmm? You hold on. I'll just tilt this bottle a little bit so you don't chuck it. Okay, we've got this. Easy as that. Now just hold it. And just keep holding it. Just hold it a little bit more. And that's that. Pretty simple. Now I've just got to be extremely careful here because I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of like having to do slow movements and stuff. Some dude just fucking jogged past the window. Oh, good job, Emily. Hmm? You're feeling good now, right? <laughs> now, I'm gonna rock you very gently so you can have a nice little sleep. Okay. All right. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. We're such a fucking pro at this. Nice and slow. Easy. I've had so much practice in The Sims. <laughs> that is literally... Yeah, literally the only practice. Sims teaches you a lot. We're gonna chill right here. After my baby. I didn't want to leave her. I just couldn't cope anymore. I feel so bad for her. Just, I mean, Jeremy. Here she's dead to lose her kid. He was such a good boy. Can't understand why anyone would want to hurt him. Do you take care of this baby on your own? Doesn't Jeremy's father live with you anymore? He disappeared. The day after Jeremy. Oh. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe... Maybe he couldn't take it. Ever since I've had to look after Emily all on my own and... I couldn't do it anymore. Yeah, that really sucks, man. I understand. Did your husband say anything before he disappeared? Did he leave a note or something? No. He left the house without a word and... There was just a cell phone. A cell phone? Yeah, I, I found a cell it's phone. It's probably similar to the one that we've got, I think. I'm sure. It wasn't his, I'd never seen it before. I tried to turn it on, but it didn't work. Do you still have it? Yeah, it's uh it's in a drawer in the living room. You can have it if you'd like. I'm sure it's of more use to you than to me. Thank you. Do you have any family or anybody to help you? Yeah. My mother. I didn't want to ask her for anything. We don't really get along. But I guess I'm out of options. Yeah, you are. 
Well, look after yourself. And Emily. I will. I promise. Good. Right. Let's get this for a uh, cell phone. I'm starting to fuck up my words now. In a drawer in the living room. That's what Susan said. Pretty sure I almost called it a phone cell. Or a fell son. <laughs> I seriously need to fucking sleep, man. Okay, let's go. We've got everything that we need. Got information, found the clue. It's looking pretty good. Plus we're also coming up to the first trial, so that is going to be epic. Okay. Okay, so uh, yeah, I ended up just going to sleep after that last chapter. I was so fucking exhausted and just had to kind of like refresh my batteries. So I've had like a four hour nap and uh, yeah, now we're just going to go ahead and continue recording this and then just start recording a whole ton of other videos as well. And uh, we'll probably, hopefully stream as well later. I'm not going to do a stream though, if I don't have any energy, like, I don't want to be boring like that, I'm not going to force it. My headset is so fucking weird. So that I need to have the volume at a certain bit to actually hear from both sides the headset properly. Well, if it's turned all the way up, I can only hear from the right side. It's down slightly. I can only hear from the left. It's down a tiny bit more. I can Excuse hear it from me. both sides. It's awkward. Hey. Oh. Huh. Sorry. Didn't see you. But this chapter's called the bear, and uh, I think it's going to be our first challenge. I'm pretty sure it is. I'd like to get my car. Hey, you're a pretty patient guy, you are. That car's been there for two years. We took it out for a drive every month and checked the tires and batteries, just like you said. The car's been sitting Here. there for two years? The third floor down. Thanks. The service elevator is at the... Ah, you have yourself a good one, Chief. Thank you. Elevator at the back of the garage. Third floor. Got it. The car's been... Oh, there cut himself years. off. Mid what sentence. Means this challenge has been in the making for two years. Which is pretty terrifying. Okay, where's our car? It's not that one, is it? Ah, there it is. Oh my god, this thing is looking nice already. Oh my god, yes. I remember it now, this is our first trial. Strap the seatbelt on, but okay. Um, there's none there. Nothing. And it's locked. 
Anything else? Nothing other than the phone. So we'll take a look at this. Your destination is four miles from here. Leave the parking lot and take the first right. Oh shit. This is about to be interesting. I mean, I know it's going down, but... God, it's going to look good. Finally actually getting to record it, I mean. Oh shit. You have reached your destination. Are you ready to show your courage in order to save your son? Listen carefully. Well for the GPS is that actually fucking talking to him. Succeed, We're gonna give them positive to thoughts. It's my only need. No turning back now. Shine. I can do it. I'd do anything to save my son. Damn right, you can do it. You know what we're gonna you're gonna pull yourself together and you're gonna you're just gonna do this. Go the wrong way on the highway for five miles? Am I willing to take that risk in order to save my son? Damn right you are. I've got to do it, for Sean's sake. I have no choice. Exactly. You can do it. Come on. We've got this. Come on. Uh, go that way. Okay, okay. Uh, oh shit. Oh shit. Come on. I had my hand. Shit. Ah, fuck, I had my hand again. I hate these. Oh shit, I'm going the wrong way, I think. Oh! Dude, it didn't fucking move. It, it's not moving. And I hit my hand again. Oh, fuck. That isn't good. Um. Come on, come on. Okay. Right, one mile. We've got this. Ah, fuck! That's four times I've hit my hand now. You'd think I'd have learned by now. Oh shit. That time I was trying not to hit my fucking hand. Oh shit. Ah. Oh. Fuck. Destination reached. Please press the screen. Destination. Well, we'll be there. Please press the screen. Destination reached. Please press the screen. Yeah, I get it. Shut up. Shut up. Your reward is in the glove compartment. 
Really? Hey, shut the fuck up! There we go. Hey, come on, Ethan. We need to get this hell out of here. Come on. You've got this. Seriously? There we go. Sure, we can't get it that way. Come on. Thank fuck for that. Well, that is a completed one trial. Found one clue to finding Sean. We're getting there. Okay, found some letters to the address. Oh. You're gonna wanna get out of there. Right, even though we had a few fails, we've still done it. Plus my hand's sore from hitting it off my desk four times. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna end this here. Uh, I've been recording for at least 40 minutes now, and that seems like a great place to end it. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, and want to see more Heavy Rain, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.